Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Barthelion. So as you can see, we are once again in Eridluin, where we are currently at Dweedond, uh, where we had a quest to go back to last time. And um, we've got one to hand in to uh, Bregar here. So the let's just do that. Is on my spirit. What is this? A gift from Langlas? Bregar unrolls the scroll. The Lay of Nimrodil. How could Langlas see this while my eyes remain blind? This is the Lay of Nimrodil and Amroth who loved her. A storm took Amroth's ship out to sea before Nimrodil could join him, and Nimrodil herself was lost in the mountains to the south upon her journey to the haven of Edhelon, in the Bay of Belfalas. Neither was seen again. Alas. Will you lend me your ear? Langlas has indeed done me a great boon by sending this to you. Uh, this with you. The Lay of Nimrodil is a sad story which has bearing upon our plight. Please bring this scroll to Torrent and have him read this passage. Begar places a mark beside the stanza and heads hands you the scroll. If this does not make him understand, then we are fated to part. So we have to take that to someone at Kellendim. Okay, we're going south again then. Uh, because we are 13 as well, we're getting the vector quest that will take us towards Breeland now. And that's basically because by the time we get to about level 15, there are not really any more quests um, that are level appropriate for you in, in Eridluin. So, as I've said before, like elves, elves will kind of be making their way up from the south and finish up at Gondamon. Dwarves will start in the north and, and kind of finish at Gondamon. But Gondamon is kind of like the meeting point for both of those plot lines. And after that, the, the, the epic stories in both cases will end up sending you to Breeland to carry on with the second half of questing in that region. Because that ties into the volume one, book one uh, epic story. But um, we're going to end up doing the whole of Arid Luin. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do it. I might end up getting to sort of the point where we get vectored to Gondamon and then going back and doing it from the dwarf side. Um, probably we'll just end up using the, the same character rather than rolling in a new dwarf. And then we can experience the dwarven prologue. Um, because the, the dwarf and the elf both have uh, different prologues, but about halfway through they kind of like merge for. Like their plot lines merge, and um, so they've kind of got little storylines which end up intertwined, shall we say? That's probably the best way of describing it um, for the second half of that, and will inspire later parts of the main epic storyline. So, um, so where are we going? We have to go. There we go. By the stable master. Um, so yeah, we can ignore this vector quest. Um, it'll probably pop up again. Actually, I should have probably accepted that. Um, so, my heart cannot sing today. Does Bregar still endeavour to turn aside my path? The elf's eyes widen as he reads the scroll, and curse the faithless ship that bore him far from Nimrodil. Though it is a sad tale, that was ever a favourite of mine. It tells of Amroth and Nimrodil, their parting, and the coming of much sadness to Lothlorien, home of our kindred. Bregar is right. There is much to be done before we go. I will not carry my pain aboard the white ships and bring it to the west. Thank you for helping me to understand all of you. There we go, so we handed that in, and now we basically just need to go northwards, really, so um, we'll probably have a, a long chat as we go north. But um, yeah, so uh, probably uh, I should apologize for, for the lack of videos this uh, this past week. Um, originally there were going to be videos, but then I was pretty ill uh, for most of the week. I ended up taking most of the week off, and unlike most of the time where you're kind of at home and you can still kind of function. Um, I was in a pretty rough state, <laughs> to say the least. There's, there's been a bit of a, a stomach bug doing the rounds. So um, I'll spare you the gory details, but suffice to say that uh, when I was throwing up, it was a bit like that, that scene in Team America where, um, is it Gary? Um, it's like throwing up and it, the scene just goes on and on and on. It's just like that. It's, it's horrible. Um, and I'm glad, glad that I've, I've got over that. Because all I've been doing in the meantime that week that I've been off is I've just been binging Netflix. So, um, And if any of you are curious, if, if you haven't seen it, um, the documentary series Making a Murderer is very interesting. That's been something that's on my watch list for a while, but I decided to crack that open and I ended up like binging two seasons straight. Um, which is a bizarre case, but hey-ho. But uh, yeah, caught up on my Netflix backlog, basically. Um, but in other more lottery related news recently, there's been some um, new patch notes that have gone up on the Bullroarer server. So they're starting to 
um, test out some of the new stuff that they've been working on um, when we're going left and they've done some more changes for the burglar now having read through the patch notes but not actually had a chance to play through the changes myself um, at first glance it seems like there's a couple of good things in there but at the same time there seems to be a lot of nerfs or, or negative changes um, so it remains to be seen whether it's a net improvement on the whole I hope it is at least but based on some of the things that are in the patch notes it it seems a bit contradictory it seems that always anytime you get something you're going to lose something in return so you kind of end up as in a bad state as you were to begin with just in a slightly different way um, which is a bit strange but um, yeah we'll have to see I might end up doing a, a separate video on that if I uh, get the opportunity to so um, I need to be on the hill don't I no we're inside okay that's fine then hello Starcraft do I need you probably not you're not a shard dropper mod or anything like that um, so we need to collect the stolen bow and we need to talk to Glam Glamir. So Glamir is actually by the the elf ruins to the northwest. Um, so yeah, some other person's here anyway. Um, hello. Uh, Starcack. Oh, actually, Starcack can be found outside. So actually, we need, didn't actually need to come in here. Oh well. Big and slap. Murder him. Murder him. And where's he gone now? Over here? There he is. So yeah, we need to murder him. And I think we end up speaking to one of the guys that's outside by the, uh, the stone pillar that we saw on the way in. We're not actually inside the quest area for this guy. It's uh, slightly off target. Because it's actually vexing us inside the walls. Actually, uh, since I've actually I've just noticed I've got call to fate on my skill bars, so if I actually go into war speech we can actually uh, start using that now. Um, right, so we need to bring the bow to Clarent. Clarent is at Frassy's Lodge. Yep. Okay, so head back up there then. So uh, I don't know what that other person was doing, whether they were questing or, or coming into murder stuff. But uh, we'll head back up then. And hopefully they won't kill all the dwarves and so forth in the meantime, because we might need to do that in a moment. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a brigand slayer deed that's popped up. So the, uh, the bad dwarves count as brigands. So there's plenty of them near the docks if you need to kill a load of them. Uh, you need 30 for the regular and 60 for the advanced. And there's plenty enough to go around. So if you do a couple of rounds around the docks, you should be fine. You get everything you need to do. And you can also do the Hendrival Slayer, the, uh, the birds as well, while you're in there. Because there's quite a few of those around. I'm sorry, did you need something? You recovered the bow from Starkath. You have my thanks, Ori. I have not much but my name, so my name is precious to me. I could not have lived with the shame of dishonouring Pengli's princely gift. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? I have been thinking, Aurene, after all the trouble with Starcath over the bow. I don't believe I am worthy of it, especially since I could not even hold on to it. Please go back to Pengli and explain why I can't accept this bow. It may still be at Dwilon to the south of Gondorn. God damn it, I hate the constant back and forth, back and forth. I am a disappointment to my own folk and to, to the honour of Pengli's gift. Okay, fine. Well, we're not going to go straight back to him just yet. Let's go... Yeah, to, I was going to say, it isn't that closer. But, but apparently not. It's, it's about 50-50. So, we'll head north then and go speak to Glamir. Because it's quite possible that he will have a follow-up quest which ends up sending us back to Dweeland anyway. Um, so, might as well do, do him. We've unlocked a new deed as well, which involves me changing my stances. So that involves changing between uh, distance, so poor speech effectively, uh, melody and uh, harmony, or resonance even. 
Um, so just changing between those, um, it is 300, so you can probably change them about 30 times a day. It's usually about 10% in most cases for deeds. You can fill up 10% of the bar per day, uh, unless you've got a, a class skill deed accelerator, in which case there's no cap. It'll just go straight past the daily cap. So it's always a good, a good, nice and easy one, really. I mean, it's it's kind of a pain that you have to do some of these, but it's one of the spammable ones, at least, though. So. You can just like, log on every day, click around a few times, or just do it naturally while, you, while you're just wandering around between towns or in combat or whatever and, and uh, get that ticked off. So we'll just remove those two from the tracker, just so we have the quest only. Hail friends, and well met. My brother Callengill sent you. I fear that both my brothers and I have sorely underestimated the depths of the defilement of these once bountiful lands. Even with your help, I'm not sure we can do more than to semi oh, much less destroy it. Nevertheless, I am grateful to have your aid. When you have rested a bit, let us discuss what steps we can take to deal with this sorrowful blight. So we're going to get a you whole bunch of quests. Service to me. Eastern Hord Lin is home to some ancient burial mounds of the Adain, the men who lived here in a past age. We have received reports of evil whites stalking these barrows and mounds. Such creatures are mere corpses animated by fell spirits, not the relics of the spirits of men. As such, they are irredeemably evil and it is our duty to exterminate them without compunction. I do not know why these creatures are ab abroad in these dark days, but I suspect some of working with the enemy. Be that as it may, I ask you to destroy the bodies of these evil creatures, and send their spirits back to the shadows from whence they came. You may be of service to me. I have sorry news indeed, Aurene. I have discovered the source of the evil that haunts this place. It seems that in the years of Arnor's wars with Angmar, the Witch King spent, sent foul spirits to stir the bones of the dead within the mounds of the Adain. We thought this foul sorcery was performed only upon the mounds of the Barrow Downs in Cardolan, but alas we were wrong. White stalk our lands, and we knew it not. Please forgive me, Ori, but I must ask you to fight these horrible things. Try to loosen their grip on Horde Lin while I search for a more permanent means of ridding the land of their presence. And his friend over here has got two more quests. Mind my words, traveller. This land has been sullied before by the dwarves and their keep on the hill, and more recently by half orcs and crevain. Now wicked spiders have entered the land, slaughtering the wildlife and endangering travellers. Thankfully, these evil creatures have so far only been found in the furthest northeast reaches of Horde Lynn, but these lands would be better for their absence. Seek out the evil spiders and drive them from their lairs in Horde Lynn. Might you spare a moment of your time? Talaf Ondren, the region of Hord Lynn to the east, was once known as the Shipwright's Grove in Westron, and it is there that many of the famed vessels of the elves were built in days long past. But the corruption that haunts it now is much greater than I or my brothers had imagined. Something malignant and evil lurks there now. Something must be done. If you would help me, then seek out the spiders that infest Talaf Ondren east of here and collect the sticky spinnerets they use to ensnare their victims. It will take me time, but I may one day discern where these terrors gain their potence. So, we have four quests. Now, two of them are going to be east over here by these ruins, and the spiders are predominantly going to be on the eastern side of this region that is highlighted, but anywhere down, down this passageway uh, we'll find some stuff. And there should also be a ruin over about here that we sh we should need to collect um, for our... Oh, hello, you've got a quest as well, sir. Um, for our exploration deed. So, uh, let's just Will take that off the tracker. Me? You there! Perhaps you can help with a small dispute. While I was away among the Stabarrows to the northeast hunting for loose trinkets, I saw an old bony white wandering about the mounds. Fortunately, it didn't notice me, but the sight fairly froze my blood. Now, my friend, Gal uh, Galti doesn't believe me. He claims there are no Barrow Whites out amongst the older Dane mounds, but he's been no further than the mounds near Gondamon, and those don't seem to be haunted at all. It's only the mounds off a ways to the northeast. You look doughty enough to face down a White or two. Perhaps you would go out of those barrows and collect a trophy to prove I wasn't seeing things. I will pay you for the service. Come and stay a moment. I wonder if I could trouble you for a moment. A friend of mine, Bercy, struck out on his own to a grove to the northeast of Kelladul to collect herbs for his recipes. I warned him of the threat of vicious spiders in the area, but he laughed them off. 
Bercy is a good fellow and a fine cook, but he can be a bit adult-brained at times. My annoyance has been turned to worry. Set a dwarf's mind at ease and search for him, will you? I'm sure he's just lost track of time, but still. The spider lair is to the northeast of Keladul, but what were those wretched dower hands about? I would counsel you to take the long way around the port. So there we go. So we've got uh, six quests in total heading eastwards. So they're all kind of... Yeah, there we go. So that's where the spider lair is, exactly where that ring is. But spiders do patrol around uh, the lands all in that general sort of direction. So we're going to go east. We'll do the, the whites first, just because they're closer. And then we'll head to the, the very northeastern corner of Ered Luin, where we should be able to um, find a little exploration thing we need for one of our deeds. And then we'll uh, kill the spiders and come back. But we should have some quests that we can pick up there as well. So I imagine I'm probably going to get a deed the moment I use Timeless Echoes of Battle just to harass that guy. No, maybe not. Okay, fine. But now that I have my, my cry skills more more damage that I can do so let's just move that along there we go uh, what are we doing we need to just kill generic whites we need mound whites so presumably they're the ones near the mounds or is every white a mound white the archer doesn't count it's only literal uh, mound whites um, Oh no, but they kept the generic white kill. Uh, we need to kill 12 whites in general, but 5 mound whites. So the archers do count for those at least. Um, and as you can see, they've got a yellow name. That's just because they're one level higher than me. Whereas the uh, chap in the background there with the blue name, he's going to be probably one level lower than me. Which you'll soon see when we start targeting him. So yeah, he's, he's one level below, so he's a dark blue. And if I was a slight bit more high level than him, he would have a light blue name, uh, then a green name, and then a grey name when he becomes trivial and no longer any kind of real threat to me. So, as we can see, there is some uh, some ruins over here as well. So, might want to head in that general direction. So, we have some things here. So, we have a broken urn, which is something I can use... Um, I was a scholar. Ah, oh, it's genuine scholar. Fine. I was gonna say because <laughs> I'm I'm a scholar, so I can interact with those things to find like scraps of text and stuff. Um, whereas this chest is just a generic loot crate where we can find bits and pieces in. Okay, deleted. Um, Mount White, there's one on the left. Probably should just start using my, my Herald Strike as well, because yeah, I knew it was going to happen, there would be a, a deed associated with that. Um, so we have to strike enemies with Herald Strike, Hero Strike, or Distant Strike. So that is going to be your different strike skills depending on which, um, uh, which stance you're in. So, hello. So it doesn't matter which one of those you use, they all have different kind of side effects depending on, on how you trade and such, but um, but at the end of the day it's still slapping someone with a sword, so um, remove that from tracker. So we've completed five mound whites, we need uh, three more general whites, so let's kill this guy. We'll back up towards the ruins because inevitably there's going to be some more around here. There we go, that's a good hit. Uh, one going up there, just cry in his face. There we go, slap. And we need one more, and it's going to be you, sir, since you found me automatically. Ooh, did I just do Did I just do like a little spin and then go, whoa? That was pretty cool. I wasn't really paying attention. It looked like it was fun. Okay, so we've done those two quests there. They need us to go back to the dwarf. So we'll take those off the tracker. And we'll carry on heading eastwards. So we need to not talk to Glamir, talk to Glamir. Spinnerets, Anglis at Dwelond, 
and spiders. And yeah, so it should be just that now. So, carry on heading eastwards. We kind of want to follow this kind of mountain line up the top here and just kind of basically go as far along as we can in this general direction. Now, obviously the terrain will go up and down quite a bit. But over here, this tower should be what we, we need. Now, I know I'm riding past a few spiders and we will need to kill a few of them at the minute. But there's going to be so many of them around. And uh, I think there's actually a, sp a spider slayer deed, if I'm not mistaken. So we might end up having to do that as well. So yeah, this, this tower that's kind of on the corner here. There we go. Elfruin's Exploration. It's the Ward Spire. Um, so that's actually the first one that I've found. So we've got other places. So explore the places of the dwarves. This is the Meta Deed Explorer. Okay. Fine. So which one did we just complete then? Uh, Elfruin's Exploration. So yeah, Ward Spire, Dole Ring West, which is that one, west of Dweeland. Limau's Vineyard, which is this kind of valley over here, um, sort of between Dweeland and Kalendim. Uh, Tamgalair and Nen Hilleth. Uh, well, uh, Tamgalair, Nen Hilleth's the one down at the bottom, I remember that. Uh, and Tamgalair's the one west of Kalendim. So it's literally got these four down here this area plus the ward spire over there just in the arse end of nowhere just to make your life difficult um so yeah we completed that which has then triggered and unlocked the explorer of erid lewin meta deed so we have to explore the alpha ruins which we've, we've just done uh, we have to explore raft which is uh, this canyon area down here so we'll end up doing that around about the time we do gondor uh explore the places of the dwarves which we'll end up doing when we're doing all foreign gate and the dwarven side of things and we're being attacked by bear and we have to explore the Dowerhand Stronghold so one of those is going to be um, kind of awkward, not mistaken. Uh, so murder bear there we go. so take off these so now we need to kill a load of spiders so anywhere in, in this kind of end of the valley will count for your spiders. I'll murder a few of these. We're probably going to end up triggering the spider slayer deed, so I don't mind too much if I end up overkilling a few, but I'm not going to kill loads of them on camera. Um, so yeah, so once again, since it's only a starter region, the, the normal uh, amount you need is 30, and the advanced amount you need for the advanced version of the slayer deed will be 60. So 90 in total, doesn't take too long. And as with most of the starter region slayer deeds, there's no point really popping a, a slayer deed accelerator because there, there's not that, it's not difficult to kill, especially if you're coming along with a higher level character who just one shot all these guys. And they're pretty easy to do. They're generally concentrated in large numbers. So as I say, the, the spiders over here, we're gonna head down to um, an area to the south here where there's gonna be an absolute ton of them. So, um, where are we going? Pretty much due south. A slight bit east. So it's so against the the hills over here. And if we head in the direction of the rings, we should find our dwarf friend. So just try and thread through the spiders for now. Since we are going to have to uh, escort our friend to safety, which obviously means we're going to have to run past a load of... Um, landscape spawned spiders that just happen to be there um, as with most escort quests every now and then it will spawn a, a couple of extra mobs to fight anyway so we'll be able to fight plenty of them on our way out but uh, here's Bertie here he's a, a bit scared shall we say cowering in fear um, but I think we shall probably stop this episode here then and next episode we will rescue Bertie so until then I will see you guys next time